So, and the thing that I mentioned in the intro, um, people aren't very good at distinguishing the truth from lies. Um, although <laughs> we think we're better at it than we actually are. Is that correct? Yeah. I mean, it's kind of a good thing in a way where trust in, in America, we're a very trusting community, you know, and so we, we have what we call a truth bias. So you might remember, you know, George Washington, the story of George Washington could not tell a lie. We know that in America, you're innocent before proving guilty. These things are good for democracy. This truth bias is not very good for spotting lies. We're not that great at it. So that's one of the reasons. The other is that we tend to rely much too much on instinct when in fact, there's a bunch of science that can inform how to look at somebody more accurately. Right. So uh, kind of again, back to this intro. Okay. We talked about the little white lies that are just maybe to protect someone's feelings, but the truth of the matter is that the the big lies, the lies that you're talking about, the big honking lies, they're actually really costly for the country and the economy. Isn't that, isn't that so? Yeah. I mean, we have a serious, serious issue, particularly with fraud right now. And the Association of Certified Fraud Examiners just came out with their 2018 report to the nations. Um, uh, the last report showed almost a trillion dollars of uh, fraud, $994 billion a year. But I think the numbers are even higher now. It's worth taking a look at that. And I'm happy to send you a link if you want to put that onto your website. But it's a very, very significant issue. Your lies really can destroy lives. They can destroy businesses. There's an economic impact to it. And it, trust is really what glues us together and can be significantly helpful to us when we're in a business situation. And everything from transaction costs to research and development to hiring to legal can be reduced. All those costs can be reduced with the right amount of trust aimed toward the right people. So, and, and people lie to, well, on their resumes, you, you told, told that story, they lie to insurers, they lie to uh, the, they commit fraud in the workplace. I mean, and it's, it's Yeah, I mean, one common. of the best studies, I think Career Builder did the study where um, they looked at maybe, I think, fourteen to 16,000 resumes, and they found that people lie all the time on their resumes, which is not a surprise. But what I found funny about it is that one of the most common lies was pretending to be a member of the Kennedy family. I mean, people will really come up with the most incredible things on their resumes. And so we know we know that people lie to insurers. We know they lie on their resumes. We know that people are aware of fraud in the workplace. But because they have fear of retribution, they will not report it, which is why hotlines are showing us that that's one of the best ways to get tips. If people have an opportunity to report fraud or to report an inside threat, for example, someone who may want to exfiltrate data, sell it to the competition, harm your IP, all of that is much more likely to emerge to a C-suite executive through a hotline uh, than it is necessarily through just personally interviewing people. Hmm, that's interesting. Um, so I would, all right, it probably goes without saying then that, you know, we've set up this premise that people can't effectively spot lies. And if you can't, you're probably at a huge disadvantage. Um, okay, but there's hope. Um, I read that 80% of communication is nonverbal. 65% is body language, 15% is pheromones. So if in my mind, that means we can literally learn to spot a liar if we watch them carefully. Is that correct? Yes and no. Okay. And so, yes, it's very, very important to be able to spot a liar and understand the cues. But if you think about it, that's not that useful. You also have to know how to get to the truth. So if you sense that someone's lying, don't stop there and certainly don't accuse them wrongly. Like check your sources, go back, interview other people, make sure you understand what the truth might be because oftentimes someone's lying for a good reason. 